introduce yourself and share your experience good morning everyone good morning mr president mm. my name is rifka to abbas mm. i'm living in behind tobacco tobacco where tobacco here in icc okay on the 28th of january this year mm. I started my POS on the 15th. On the yes, POS business on the 20 on the 15th of January. Then on the 28th of that same January, I came out normally. I do my POS in Abacha Barracks. So I came out from the home on my way going. I normally go to the bank, withdraw cash. So during that time, we started expressing and this cashless um, policy that came out. So that day, I came out, went to the bank, struggled for cash. So on my way going, I bought that uh, a cab to go to uh, my normal stand where I do my POS. So I came, when I bought the cab, on the cab, there was a woman, an elderly woman with one man and a lady on the seat with a driver, making us four. So as we're going, they started discovering where the man said that he's dropping or at the middle of the road and learned that which if after AYA going up the bridge. So the man said he wants to drop. And the other one they started arguing that he can't drop in here. They don't they can't park here because car cannot stop here. He has to go front. The man said no they should drop in they should drop in they should drop in. They started the argument that no he can't drop in here because if he drop in here police definitely look at uh, they are close to the barriers because they are seeing them. They can they will arrest him. He said, please, he has a uh, goose. So the man the finally the argument they continue. The man asked uh, said the driver now stopped and said, Okay, go down. He said he has a a bag in the boot. He said, You have bag in the boot. That no, he said, How is your bag? He said the bag is a Ghana was going, the Ghana was going is containing a carton. He said, I'm saying don't drop all the goose where they in a uh, moto since from uh, Maraba, why you go tell and say here when you come now? In get back inside book motor, you know, get any bag inside in boot. I go tell her, then I started again that why will you drop his bag? He said, When he's dropping it, those bags, he asked if anyone in the car is having bag inside. He didn't complain that he's having bag now. He's telling you that he have bag, there's no bag in his boot. He said, Okay, he will open, he should open his boot so that he will confirm. He said, okay, if you said it's your bag, what and what is inside the bag? That is his slippers and some of his clothes. The driver said, no, there's a bag on in his, in the bag, there's a bag now in his uh, boot, but that bag, he has to tell him what is inside. And inside the bag, uh, the man said, no, inside the bag, is only his shoe and some of, few of his clothes. The driver said, no, inside the bag, he saw a carton. And when he opened the carton, he saw more uh, dollars inside. And in the dollars, there's a charm inside. It looks like there's a charm inside. The man said, uh, he said, oh, no, it's not, it's not so, it's not so, it's not so. And I said, okay, if you didn't say the truth, they will take him to the barracks and report him to the soldiers there. The man I said, okay, sorry, he will explain how the thing happened. That he was, work, uh, he was staying in Abia with one of his boss that he went there to work. And the boss, like, to him, his own, uh, how he found out that his boss in his into rituals. And the boss, has, he had been working for the man for years. And in the agreement they had that at the end, the man will settle him. So he has been working and it is time for the man to settle him. The man doesn't want to settle him. And the, in the house, there's a particular room where nobody enters. Only the ogre himself enters the room. And one day, unfortunately, one day to him, the ogre gave him clothes to wash. And as he's washing his clothes, he found a key. And that key, he was suspecting the key is to the particular room where that ogre doesn't want anybody to enter. So when he started opening doors, he finally got to the, that, that particular key and he opened the door. When he opened the door, he saw cartons arranged. And when he tried uh, taking one of the cartons, mm -hmm. The uh, champ, uh, something struck him down and he fell down. As he fell down, later, later, he struggled to get up again. When he got up, uh, he finally found courage again and went to the carton. He finally opened the carton. When he opened the carton, he saw dollars and he was shocked. So 
one mind was telling him that he should take, the other mind was telling him not to take, that this is, and I remember that it is high time for him to go back to his people. This man doesn't want to pay him and this and that, and then at the end day, he finally pick up one of the cartons, and that's how he was able to escape. So the driver said, how were you able to escape with this carton? And nobody caught you. The police did not uh, stop you at the road. All those checkpoints on the road. He said he followed a uh, trailer. All those uh, long trailers, long go that are carrying goods. And uh, so nobody w was able to find him. They could not get him. So because he had cattle inside, it was when he got to Maraba that he was so suspicious of his bag. And that's why he don't want the driver to find out. That's why he want them to drop him on the road because he's going to his auntie. That he was staying in Abuja and he don't even know if truly the auntie is in Abuja now because he lost contact with his family. Nobody is the only one. So the other and I said, Okay, now what did he intend to do? And that if you don't him personally, he can't take him and drop him with this money. They have to go to the police station or they will go to the army barrack to report so that they will know what to do. He said, Please, so because they were going to arrest him because and they're going to uh, trace his boss and his boss is going to kill him so you don't want anybody to know about it so you can't put him out the bag now i be you know put him out continue yes mm. so as and uh, the elderly woman she's old enough to be um my grandmother not even my mother when i hear that thing old enough to be my grandma so she was the one that uh, started uh, the intervening that please so she don't want any police case she has children and her children are very small so she don't want to go to any police station now because definitely if they take this one to the police station, we too will be involved. And we they will ask us questions and along the line, maybe we'll go and be they will lock us. So she don't want anybody to go to police station. She now asked me, my daughter, at B, you won't go to police station. I said, No, mm -hmm. I don't want. I just started uh, my small business and managing. Uh, yeah. I don't want any problem. She now said, Okay, so what do the not driver and I said, What do we do now? And I said, okay, if this, the man, I said, please, they should not take him to the, even him too, he don't want to go to the police station. He will give us, uh, he will give us like five million from the money so that we'll share. Please, so that we'll not report him to the police station. And then I said, no, except they will share this money 50 50. Mm. Everybody go chop from equally. equally. Mm. Everybody go chop from the money. And I said, okay, uh, but the, this charm inside the money. And definitely that charm will affect everybody that wants to touch the money, except mm. the person that uh, put the charm inside, that will be able to remove it. The man, I said, okay. Uh, the driver, I said, okay. So now we should go to a church where a pastor will pray for us. The woman, I said, uh, you, uh, they now start arguing again. The, then the say, uh, driver, I said, okay, that if they go to uh, the woman, that, uh, that woman, I said, if they go to church, Pastor will say him after the prayer. Pastor will say him, "Man, you won't, you won't share, and the money will not be enough for us again. We will we'll be short from the money, so we should do it within us here." The woman said that she know one um, prophet, one mama that used to anything that has to do with charm. She used to help one of her sister, wait and charm, wait then put her for her, wait she might wait this and that. Her hand, her body could not function again. But that mama really helped them. Now today, her sister was is alive, this and that and this uh, that she was staying with. And that mama has been helping them for long. So if we can go to the mama. Una go there. On the way. So they called. Uh, she now said, okay, let her make a call. So now call uh, somebody with a number and the uh, man picked the number. A guy picked the number that the mama cannot see. Hey, hey. Mama is a, blind. He's her mm. son that mm. used to help her and explain. Mama cannot speak English, cannot speak other. It's only their language. Mm. So he has a son, a grandson that is staying with her. He's the one that is explaining everything to her if you go to her. So the, she called the boy saying, Mama, the, the boy called, uh, the, the man picked the call. He said, Okay, yes. So we now drove to. Yeah. They now drove us to um, along and um, night conjunction. Mm -hmm. That was where they pick um, the, the mama the, boy. The mama boy mm. inside the car. They now saw by the inside the car. The, mama, the guy now said that um, that the mom his mama is late. His grandmother is late. <laughs> but now he's the one that took over from her. He's doing the work. 
So then I start explaining to him that, and this is the case, this is the case, all the argument we had. So I like, the, uh, the old woman, the woman among us, the mama among us, now said that she will, she don't have, uh, then I said, okay, now, how do we do about the child? He now said, because he need money to buy items to do that thing. And for the cleansing. For the cleansing. And the more, uh, the, cl uh, the items he's going to buy. Mm -hmm. He can't find it here in Abuja. Like waiting and waiting. He has to go to uh, Suleja to get it. Mm -hmm. They ca uh, they have um I don't know how to call it Jackie tail. Uh, <laughs> donkey tail. Donkey tail. <laughs> and what? Yeah, so I can't. Some of them are, I don't know them. Uh, they have to call it because well, most of them uh, Jackie tail. Yeah, yeah, uh, I know that one. And I, some skins of animals. Mm -hmm. where, these uh, white animals mm. that they have to buy that is going to get them in Suleja. Mm. So I said, okay. So how much do my mama ask? How much are, do we need to contribute now? Because she should don't have money. The only money she have now is the money that somebody gave her to keep for him. For that her. she uh, mm. show her for her keep. Mm. So and um, she the business she's doing. She's just selling some stuff in the market. And her husband is a driver. He has give her money in his account. There's money or oh, husband's money in her account that she used to save. They Preparing have a you to account. go and bring anybody's money. Mm, mm. So I said, Okay, now how much do we need to contribute? They said, All of us has to contribute to 250 to make up that to money. 250,000, yes, sir. At least, uh, mm. and the money, if they're able to do the cleansing, mm. the money we're going to share. Mm. It's 8.5 million. Each person. Each person. Hey! You don't have hammer. You don't have hammer. So, uh, they started contributing. I said, me, she, I don't have money. Mm. Any money. They said, okay. If the mama said that after listing the money, 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, she was able to get her 50,000. The driver and I said, and that him, he only have 150 with him. He don't have any money. Then I said, okay, they will see what they will do. They will help him. There's a young lady at the front seat. She should said, she should have, she's capable of the money. Not together then, they. So the man, then I said, okay, now, uh, what about me? I said, me, seriously, I don't have money. Because I just start my business now. Mm. And this money does not belong to me. Mm -mm. It was somebody that helped me. Mm -mm. That was that saw me working. And I said, I am tired of all this white collar job. I need a business. Because I was doing tailoring. Learning tailoring. Mm. But it, it was very difficult. Because I'm the only one here. My family is in me now. My parents. And I have siblings. I am the first child. And my dad is down, has been down for six years. Is sick, so I don't start this business. I want to look for something that I will use in helping myself. You, you mention all these I mention, things to them, and the, uh, you see how they no get sympathy. Yes, no so mm. and they said, okay, how much can I? I said I can't raise any money. All the money I have with me for my POS is four hundred and fifty thousand. Somebody oh. borrowed me. Somebody borrowed me, and the cash I have here is only fifty thousand. Uh, the rest is not cash. They said, okay. I I can't give you this money. I have to involve my boss in it. They said no, because we have to take an oath uh -huh. that if you tell anybody, anybody that said, uh, tell anybody, inform third party, you're going to die. We don't have to inform any third party. You know to also say the person go mad before he go die. Mm, we're just, going to die. Uh, uh, like, Once you say it to anybody, mm. you're going to die. So. We took the oath, and I promised not to tell anybody. I, I, I will, I will not take take the oath. They gave us uh, some coins on our hands, and the soak up the prophet, mm. the mama son, mm. was the one telling us what to do. If I said, if I expose today, me, I with your name, mm. your full name, I sort of person. If I expose, on oath. Mm. Mm. <laughs> if I expose this secret to anybody. The very day I expose the secret to anybody, I'm going to die. Mm. So, uh, as we after taking the oath, I said, "Okay, now what do we do?" Me, this only fifty thousand naira I have. Mm. And they said, "Okay, I should bring the fifty thousand, but I should wrap it in black nylon." Mm. So I said, "I don't have any nylon in my bag." Mm. They said, "Okay, I should give them the nylon." They the gave money. me nylon. Mm. I put the money inside the nylon, mm. give it to them. Because so, of the charm. Mm, mm. So the 
man that no, was for outside now nah, by the, the roadside when they do this thing i be when i go one shrine outside by the roadside inside the car all by of that uh, 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 nikon junction yes mm. so when the uh when uh after giving them the fifty thousand naira, so the man uh the uh, man that brought the money then the now said okay so how are we going to do because him too has to contribute to the money so that because without his own money the money is not complete for buying the items for the cleansing and i said okay we have to contribute so now. on a pack one place yes they discuss this thing yeah mm -hmm. That we have, or we all now have to contribute money. And I said, for me, I don't have any money except the I have to involve my boss inside. So, finally, if you will send money for me, so then I said, okay, what am I, what do I intend to tell him? Because now that I've took oath, I'm not going to tell anybody if I tell you, remember what will happen to me. So, uh, before I even I gave them the money, when I told them, I uh, before I even started telling them what I'm what I am uh, passing through. The man told me so many things that once happened in my family. My mom fell sick, the child she mad, my dad is sick, this and that. This something, so many things that happens in my family. He told me, I said, okay, how he has to told me that if after this money, we finally uh, do uh, cleanse this money, the, I will bring an egg with white and kerchief with candle. There is a prayer he will do for me concerning my family because we have um, people. <laughs> that against my family i want to see my uh, the, uh, the downfall of my family so he will help me i don't have to pay him any money my dear you see those stories when you tell him now you tell them by yourself without knowing that time where you did try to explain to them the condition of your family and now from there he extract what he extract come uh, so finally finally so after giving them the money, they said we should contribute. So and I said, okay, since we are in cash, that I will call him because I normally <laughs> complain to him how I'm, uh, 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 difficulties I'm finding in getting cash and this and that and it. So although maybe I am in the bank, I've gotten a means. Uh, I told him uh, earlier. Okay. I spoke to him that I need uh, another cash. money, mm. eighty thousand naira to add up. At least I will, if I'm able to get. And I will open another account. By then, I, I was trying to open an account with um, Stambik. So if I open, I got another extra uh, card. I will be going to different banks so to you collect go tell cash. Say you don't ca get no, cash already I spoke to him that mm. I need more money. Mm -hmm. That uh, the day before that day. So, so that money I was expecting. I said, okay, since I'm expecting money for him, let me call him and tell him to send me that money. So that he that maybe you have be seen cash uh, to buy. Yeah, mm. uh, to collect. Mm. So when I called him, when I said that uh, because that he traveled to Bini. So he said because he's doing a uh, car and logistic uh, hiring. So he took one client to Bini on their way coming back. In that one that he's driving and you place he he can't park, he's a bush. He can't park that place. But because of the uh, uh, uh what I'm uh, into, so I was like Begging him, begging him, disturbing me on mm -hmm. call, on call, on call. So I, at the end, he has to pack and send me the money. Mm -hmm. So when he sent the 80,000, already that day, I have, I, uh, I have exceeded my limit mm -hmm. on but my assets. Them, uh, yes. How much you give them that day? I gave, I, I withdraw, at uh, that day, I withdraw uh, 105,000 naira from my uh, assets bank. Mm -hmm. And that had it all, because the bank was just a small account. So after withdrawing that uh, amount, that I've exceeded my limit, me without knowing to me that I've exceeded my limit. So immediately that money dropped. The bank locked and blocked my uh, account. I could not do any withdrawal. Which bank? Access Bank. Let's appreciate Access Bank. <laughs> so they took uh, because my A uh, that is my ATM, that particular ATM was with the the with people, the four hundred oh, already. They collected the, they who collected them, my ATM. Who, who give them the pin? The pin at me, I gave them the oh, pin, okay, everything. Okay. So uh, they collected the card and said, Okay, when they told they called me that they are in Sule down now, they want to buy it and they call uh, trying to withdraw money from my bank and the money then is not paying them. I said, Okay, what is it rising to? Is it network or what? So I try on my phone, they said, Okay, they send me account number. They said they will, uh, I should do transfer. I said, Even with my phone, I can't do transfer because I've not registered doing transfer yet. So I can't do transfer. 
they should continue maybe his network later later you pay them and, that, and that day that particular day was weekend uh, uh, for friday so and i can't go out uh, it was past so, uh, 12 already i can't so go they to blocked the your account they blocked my account so finally waiting can happen after giving i started calling they, they left they dropped at that uh, night congestion they dropped me they said okay i should wait for them Mugu I, don't drop um, mm -hmm, mm. i should draw i should wait for them they will come back because i they want to go to the market and it's only one person that will go to the market because if they said they should go all of them uh, if they, they will expose themselves because the person is selling those uh, items in Suleja will not like to see us crowdly. Mm. So, well, everybody should set the bus stop he will drop. They will go with the driver and the prophet, they, they are the ones to go. So, the woman said she's going back to her uh, where she the market where she's. We told I was the first person that told them, I said, Okay, me, I have auntie here in Gishiri, a London eye condition mm. across the. I said, I have auntie there. So I'm dropping, I uh, can drop here and wait in my auntie's house. The woman I said, she, she's going <laughs> I, ahead. I can't remember the area eh, she called. She said, she's going. I, I know, proceeded. but I know he's had ahead of that night mm, congestion. Mm. She's going. She said, front a bit. She's dropping by that side. So when they dropped me, they now proceed. So we're on call with them because we exchanged number. We're talking, talking on phone. They out they were struggling to get the money from my account. They could not get. after that they said okay that they went since the items are increased money. I have to add another eighty thousand naira to them. And I said eighty thousand naira. Me, where will I get that money? I can't ask my boss again for money. I don't have anybody that I know that can give me that amount of money. So we started because be that as of then already I was having one neighbor. I've come back home. I'm not going anywhere. And I could not tell my because I have a roommate. I could not tell my roommate this is what's happening. She's going to work, and she, every day she asked me, Are "You will not, because normally she used to go before me." So me, I, I used to stay home, do some house chores before I will follow her. But eventually, so uh, you, I, uh, 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 that you, particular day, I didn't go to work. Mm. As you I didn't wait go for to work. Eight point five million. Mm. So one of my neighbor there now saw me. I went to. I, I've been calling them that very day. I've been call, after that day. I've been calling them, calling them. All the, sometimes number will ring, sometimes it will not ring. Sometimes they will pick, they will tell me ah, they are on it, they are on it because it's okay. I waited eventually. To, how much you can't give them finally? I gave them 450,000. All the money. Wait, waiting. How your Oga can react when you discover? So First of all, how you uh, discover say this thing now for one night? At what point? I really did not discover it was because when I started calling them, it was that my particular neighbor. I started crying, begging them on phone that please, oh, this money is not my money. They should send. They said, okay, I should not worry. I should not worry. They are still on the thing. The thing is very difficult because I was speaking to that uh, mama son that was. The prophet mm -hmm. that will break it down he said i should know what the thing is very difficult for him. he has never had such kind of challenge, a work before. challenge mm -hmm. before on all the work he has been doing so this one is very difficult i should know bother i should know what he at the at the point he even start shouting on me on mm -hmm. the phone so wh when and that uh, my neighbor i went to have my bath so i was coming in. he saw me he saw what how so moody, how uh, moody. Moody and sad i am he has he has never seen me because normally the way we used to talk and mm. cheese and laugh he said he called my name i just wave at him i could not even sp speak to him i millionaire, just wave at him. millionaire millionaire <laughs> i just wave at him and i said ah, what's wrong with you the way you are you sick i said no i'm not sick he said what happened come come and talk to me then and uh, i started shedding tears he said ah, what happened I like I even by then I don't even want to say it because I was scared of that I would die and the oath I've taken. So he says it speak to me now, speak to me. Eventually I found the courage of telling I said this is what happened. And I've been calling them, they're not beginning. He said now for one now. You don't enter for one one chance. Your money don't go. Don't even think of mm -hmm. anything. That money is not now coming you open back. Your eye. Yes, sir. That money is not coming back. I, I they now asked me, have you told your but I said I have since morning I blacklist his number. Your because boss. He, yes. He's been calling me. I can't pick the, I can't tell him that I gave somebody his money. Mm. And ah! 
because he even I requested for the eighty the first eighty thousand naira soon because I told him borrow me by because it was weekend on Saturday by Monday I will return the money. So that on Sunday he now said that please is in need of that money even if it's fifty thousand I should send your to boss. him. Yes. I should send to him because he has something a uh, uh, work at hand now to do, and the money is have he has he having is not enough for him to do. So I should send him fifty thousand naira. But I can't summon the courier. I have told him, okay, let me go to the bank. I just I lied to him. So later on, I still called him. I told him that I went to the bank. There's no network, so please you should bear with me by Monday because I so, uh, they told me that on Monday I will get the money. Uh, so I told him, okay, by tomorrow morning. By them network because yeah, there is work, so I will send him money. And I said, okay, no problem. So when I told that man, I said, have you called him? I said, no, this is what we did. Because I said, why didn't I tell him? Open up to him that this is what happened. I said, I can't tell you. He said, I should tell him. I said, I can't tell. Him. He said, even his message, I should tell him. Eventually, so later, did you later, tell I, him? I, I typed message and sent to him, but Wait I didn't un unlock his number. I Waiting be in reaction. Up till now, you and I never talked. We have talked. What did he tell you? His reaction, seriously, at, at the, he was mad at me at the beginning because he has to he pull, uh, put me close to police station. We go because at for that particular man is a soldier. He said, okay, let's since I have their contact, mm -hmm. let's track them. So when we get to the police station, they now advise that since I'm still on call with them, they are mm -hmm. calling me to give them money. Mm -hmm. who, I should just play along with them. Sting operation. Mm -hmm. Yes, I should tell them I have money. So when I call them, I tell them, okay, I've gotten out of the eighty thousand they said they need. I got, I've gotten fifty thousand naira cash with me now. Mm -hmm. So what do they want me? Where will I come and give them the mm -hmm. money? Uh, How to meet them and get money? You get tone where you go use. They go oh, suspect. Oh, oh, oh. They go say this job don't knock. So they said okay that and the driver said that I should because the that the prophet's house is in um Kabusa. And I said, Kabusa, where in Kabusa, that him truly, he doesn't know the address because he has not been to that area. He only drove him and up, but he knows he's in Kabusa. So I should call the prophet. I said, okay, I've been calling him. He's not picking my call. Sometimes the number will go, sometimes he will not pick the call. How do I? He said, okay, let him call me. So he called me and he, uh, he called back. He called me back. So we not, I told him, okay, now, what do we do? He said, I should go. I, should, I said, okay, if you can't give me an address, Come to the police I told you I should tell them to come to Zeni Bank, a I will be there and I'll wait for them with the money. So when we drove out with the police and everything, we drove to the to Gudu Junction and they waited across. So me, I went to the Zenith Bank and stayed because there were people around looking for cash out of them. Because it's doing all the that cash. So money. waiting can happen. So they Did called, we come? They didn't uh, like the way the police explained, he said he saw two guys. That came around. They were, were looking around, looking around. When they noticed that that ATM machine is not paying, and the way they were looking at me, he suspect they are part of those people. But they are not the ones. They sent them to come and investigate Sophie, and check. They, they call them Sophie. Now to, Sophie to make sure that, that hey, am I saying the truth or no? Like so. If after the police won't do in work if I arrest them, they go uh, explain where thing carry them go there. Finally. They, they said happened. I should do transfer. They sent me account number that way that I should transfer the money. I said if I go to they POS, can use the same account number to track them. I've been a pampe. No. Now it's normal UPA. account. Uh -uh. See, my dear. After after the program, we go do something. We go catch them by the grace of God. Amen, Sorry, sir. eh? Thank you, sir. Sorry. You don't resume your business. No, sir. I just uh, now presently I do boiled uh, egg, sell boiled egg and pepper meat just to. Uh, get I like even. your spirit, and uh, you go still do the POS. Thank you. Sir. I go send you to Touch Bank. Thank you, sir. In fact, make I call Touch Bank people, make them come because them they give POS to people free of charge. Now small money where you go take do transaction nine. You go look for Thank who I go sir. call for touch bank, Taiwo touch bank. I just hope see I get the number, Taiwo touch bank. Uh -huh. Now, them, now, anywhere we touch bank day, you go see the biggest Nigerian flag. Now, they are 
and the na the bank where I see say then they connect with the ordinary people be that all the same make we appreciate access bank for blocking her account it means say then they security conscious they notice an unusual behavior uh, 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 in that transaction nine make unfortunately how you can't take on block can't carry the remaining money give them so when i read uh, because there's a uh, when i get to the bank they told me that because uh, i told them i said i've been trying to withdraw so rise, you have one minute to round up so they said okay i should go to bar, uh, court and do because i should go to get my bvn and my id card i gave them they said there's a mistake in my name so i have to go to the court and do um i feel they will change your name i brought them so they did you do all this one to carry money give a uh, power nine no i didn't give them the money uh -uh. i have to later get the money uh, by then already before i did all those things or um i suppose the, the as at founder. the time where you give them eighty thousand. i didn't give them the eighty thousand. it was just that uh, 400 the eighty thousand in my account was it at once you gave them the four hundred thousand? yes sir after the fifty thousand there, I give them. I was I was having money that was no cash. Oh, yes, I transferred uh, transfer money to oh, them so before the system. Are they called of Touch Bank? You know, pick what of that? Uh, my account officer waiting be her name. Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay, okay. See, I go just type Touch Bank. No worry, my dear. You go bounce back very soon by the grace of God. Thank you, sir. You go, you go bounce back uh but no uh so go and sit down my dear thank you sir mm. make we appreciate her for the courage okay uh tonya antonia is her name sorry eh which language you be i'm ikulu from kadmasi ikulu mm. I won't make you know. First of all, hey, hold the mic first. I won't make you know. Say your mama don't know much any charm. Make them know they deceive on poor people. On our two, they believe in spiritual, spiritual rubbish. On no go better hospital where they go check with you. Maybe na gout they worry the mama. I don't see person will get small dislocation. They go local place. He can't turn fracture. I don't know. Some of them go to a hospital two cost. Now, by the time you buy tortoise, buy albino. Hello, good morning, uh, uh, my coded uh, account officer, Tonya. Good morning, my ordinary president. We did live on air on Human Rights Radio and Television Breaker to Family. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, same here. I bet which day touch bank will come break at a family because uh, 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 the good news we will they give us the support we will they give the masses through when our POS and other products we will, we will not get with the MISA. Now make with the beg make touch bank come. Which day will go come? Um, order, President, any day where you give us will come. tomorrow. Okay, sir. And then as you they come. I bet carry uh, some POS machine come. He got one of my daughters where uh, they dupe her. She they do POS business. I won't re re respond to her. May she bounce back. Okay, sir. Thank you. Your name na Antonia, sir. Antonia who? My daddy, sir. You they work with uh, Touch Bank, sir. Waiting for your designation. I'm group head retail bank, sir. And I... Who be my account officer? Me, sir. Thank you. Make one appreciate her. Very beautiful lady. Very beautiful. <laughs> Telling you. <laughs> my brothers, my sisters, when I don't hear her experience, Ikulu, Ikulu. You know, for one night, people don't make somebody insult in landlord because. <laughs> They tell and say the money go uh, happen in three days time. Now, in don't go price the house where the almost opposite the house. We better pass this one. They don't conclude transaction. <laughs> now, landlord, they talk to her about 
contribution for money for toilet where they want pack. Now insult landlord finish. This is your rotting house where the toilet not they had to uh, to to fool. <laughs> Three days finish, four days now beg you come follow. Now dear, she cry. This man for one week, you know they feel come out. If you pass through in window now, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Power nine. But we go catch this guy, so we go catch them. She go can't give testimony here by the grace of God. Amen. They go vomit every single penny.